Diversity of Ecdysozoan. Let's go. We are going to discuss further about Ecdysozoan. What is Ecdysozoan? Ecdysozoan are protostomes, include roundworm and arthropods. Why they are unique? Hmm, it is because Ecdysozoan do not undergo spiral cleavage. They are one of the major group of animals and contains the largest number of species. Ecdysozoan have a cuticle as an outer covering. That cuticle will protect and support the animal. Did you know, Ecdysozoan do not release large amount of eggs and sperms into their, their aqueous environment like others invertebrates at this sozoan have evolved separate sexes. At this sozoan come together and copulate to deliver sperm into the female body or to directly fertilize eggs as they release. Ramos are non segmented worms that have long body, long body with no arms or legs. Ramos also classified as a phylum, phylum nematoda which has over 20,000 species in the world. Internal body of roundworms, including the tubular reproductive organs, are lie within the pseudocellum. Pseudocellum is a cavity body that is incompletely lined by mesoderm. In other words, mesoderm occur in the body wall, but not around the, but not around the digestive cavity. There are many types of parasitic Parasitic uh, roundworms in the world. Firstly, is the Ascaris. Ascaris can cause infection to the domestic animals and a number of other vertebrates. Uh, most infection people of Ascaris surprisingly have a, only a few, a few symptoms, but. Uh, larva Ascaris, uh, Ascaris larva in the lungs can cause coughing or blood sputrum. Also, if ascaris, larva ascaris in the in the intestine, it can cause malnutrition, malnutrition, pancreatic ducts, and poor health to the to the infection person. Secondly, is the trichinella spiralis that can cause trichinosis, which is trichinosis is the is a serious infection when a human eat a red pork that consists that containing encysted that containing encysted larva trichinella which is this infection can be painful and leather lastly is the filarial worms filarial worms can cause various infection uh, for example filarial worm can cause a disease called a disease called herpworm disease when when uh, when a mosquito transmit a uh, larva of filarial worms to the dog, which is uh, the worm, the worm live inside the lung of the dog, which this can be fatal to the dog. Also for the human, for the human, larva, uh, uh, the same of vectors of mosquito that transmit the larva of filarial worms can cause a disease called elephantiasis to a human. So let's move on to arthropods. Arthropods are a very large group of protostomes that have exoskeleton and jointed appendages. In this subtopic, we will learn about film arthropoda, which includes crustaceans, centipedes, and millipedes, insects, and chelicerates. First, let's look at the characteristics of arthropods. Basically, there are three characteristics of arthropod. The first one is exoskeleton. An exoskeleton is a hard covering which is composed primarily of chitin. Exoskeleton have various functions such as protection from the external environment, support their bodies, reduce the loss of water and energy storage. 
However, because of it is hard and non expandable, arthropods must mold or shed their exoskeletons as they grow larger. Before molding, the body secretes a new and larger exoskeleton which is soft and wrinkled. After enzymes partially dissolve and weaken the old exoskeleton, the animal breaks it open and wriggles out. The new exoskeleton then quickly expands and hardens. Then, the second characteristic of arthropods is segmentation. Arthropods have segmented bodies like the annelid worms. Each segment has a pair of jointed appendages. Typically, the appendages are highly adapted for a particular function, such as locomotion, food gathering, or reproduction. And the third characteristic of arthropods is metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is the process of development of an organism that involves distinct stages with an abrupt change between them. When the caterpillar is full grown and stops eating, it becomes a pupa, also known as chrysalis. And the adult stage is what most people think of when they think of butterflies. This is what we call it as metamorphosis. What is crustacean? Crustacean is animal that derive from their hard, crusty exoskeleton, which contains calcium carbonate. Although crustacean are extremely diverse, the head usually bears a pair of compound eyes and five pairs of appendages. The first two pairs are called antennae, and the second is called antennus. The in front of the crustacean mouth have sensory function and the other three pairs lies behind of the mouth are used for feeding. The majority of crustaceans live in marine and aquatic environment. The example of crustaceans are lobster, crabs, crayfish, hermit crabs and shrimp. The crustaceans begin their life as free swimmer larvae and then they undergo metamorphosis that transforms their swimming appendages to cherry. Other than that, the respiratory system of crustacean consists of gills that lie above the walking legs, which are protected by carapace. Do you know that crayfish nervous system is well developed? It has brain and central nerve cord that passes posteriorly. Their sensory organs are also well developed. The sensory organ is developed with compound eyes on the end of morable eye stalk. These eyes are accurate and can detect motion and respond to polarized light. Okay, for the centipedes and millipedes, both of centipedes and millipedes belong to the groups of arthropods uh, called myropods, which in Greek translates to countless feet okay for uh, for the centipede centipede <coughs> centipede has one pair of legs for for on every of every body segment while for the millipede millipede has has two pair of legs on every body segment okay centipede also, centipede prefer to live in the moist environment such as uh, under logs, in crevices, and in the leaves uh, as they are predated to on the smaller arthropods. Why? The, uh, for the for the millipedes, millipedes live in uh, millipedes live under stone or in the burrow in the soil because of uh, they they feed uh, on the on the leaf litter in the leaf litter okay so that's all for the millipedes and centipedes let's move on to chase rates chase rates are arthropods that exhibit a pair of pointed appendages used to manipulate food as example horseshoe crabs sea spiders and arachnids arachnids includes mites Ticks, spiders, scorpions, and harvestmen. Ticks are ectoparasites of various vertebrates and they are carriers for such diseases as 
Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and Lyme Disease. Scorpion's paddy pops are large fingers and their long abdomen ends with a stinger which contains venom. Spiders, the most family chelicerates, have a narrow waist that separates the cephalothorax from the abdomen. The chelicerate are modified as fangs with ducts from poison glands and the paddy pops are used to hold, taste and chew food. Spiders spin the web in which to trap their prey. Insects are adapted for an active life on land, although some have secondary embedded aquatic habitats. The body of an insect is divided into three, head, thorax, and abdomen. The head bears the sense of organs and mouth parts, while the thorax contains of three pairs of legs and possibly one or two pairs of wings. However, the abdomen contains most of the internal organs. Do you know the wing and has an insect's ability to survive? How? It actually provides a way for insects to escape from enemies, finding foods, facilitating mating, and dispersing offspring. Most of insects undergo complete metamorphosis which is involving drastic change in form. As example, the typical insect that we usually found, grasshopper. Grasshopper has two pairs of wings where the forewings are tough and leathery. When the forewings is folded back at rest, they protect the broad, thin hind wings. The posterior region of the exoskeleton in the female has ovipositor. This ovipositor is used to dig a hole in which eggs are laid. The excretory system consists of malphigian tubules which extend into the hemocoid and collect nitrogenous waste. While the respiratory system begins with opening in the exoskeleton called spiracle. Also, do you know that the immature grasshopper actually is called nymph? while the adult is called grasshopper. Now, I would like to explain about our 3D model that we made. There is a spider, the black widow spider. The spider is one of the salicerates that live in terrestrial. Now, I would like to explain the external anatomy of the spider. Basically, the spider have pedipops, salicerate, Eyes, abdomen, cephalothorax, legs, and spinneret. The figure shows our label model. So now, the abdomen usually contain internal organ such as digestive tract, reproductive organ and also lungs and often contain six gland. Meanwhile, the cephalothorax have fused head and thorax. Spider, the most familiar salicerates, have a narrow waist that separates uh, the cephalothorax from the abdomen. Spider do not have compound eyes, but they have numerous simple eyes that perform similar function. What is about salicerae? Salicerae is modified as fangs with uh, ducts from poison glands, and they have paddy pups used to hold, taste, and chew food. And we already know that uh, the spider spin a web. To trap their prey. The black widow spider is a poisonous spider. They can cause severe pain if you get bitten. Spider is not aggressive. They only bite when they feel treated. If spider has bitten you, please get medical treatment as soon as possible.